Hello, this is Lane Leverett, and this clip is from How Host Profiles Help Secure ESX and ESXi from my VMware vSphere Security Design Training. Now enjoy the clip. So to start off with, How Host Profiles Help Secure ESX or ESXi. So essentially a host profile is very similar to the templating mechanism we already have for virtual machines. So we're able to take an existing ESX or ESXi host and then with that host pull all the configuration options that are associated with it and then be able to store that in a profile template. We can then associate that profile template with either a cluster or a host individually. So then we can either scan the cluster or the ESX host to verify that it actually matches with the host profile configuration. So some use cases for this on how to help secure ESX or ESXi using host profiles. We can use it as a consistent configuration check for existing ESX hosts. So periodically we can go through and schedule or run a scan against a host or a cluster of hosts and ensure that those hosts are matching with what we expect there to be in the host profile, our standardized configuration. We can also use it as a template for adding new hosts. So as we add new hosts into a cluster, we can use a host profile to, to help with the implementation of that host and ensure that whatever the existing ESX or ESXi hosts and the clusters have for their configuration settings, that ESX or ESXi host will also have those same settings. So with that, let's go into our demo. vCenter server here. So if you go to the home selection in vCenter, under management, you'll see the section for host profiles, which is where we're going to be going. So to create a host profile, it's actually relatively easy. It's just a matter of uh, clicking create profile. And you have two methods for doing that. You can either create a profile from an existing host or you can import a profile. Um, times when you'd like to import a profile is when you might have multiple virtual centers in your environment and you're wanting to take a profile from one vCenter server to another. Because even if you're in linked mode, it, host profiles don't transfer across vCenter servers. So in our case, we're going to create a profile from an existing host. You click Next. You select the host that you want to use. You give the profile a name. And Finish. So with that, the profile is now here. It's, it's now editable for us, so we can actually edit that profile and take a look at some of the settings that are available to us. So these are some of the things that I had mentioned that were in here. Now, as you'll notice, some of the information, it's already gathered from that ESX host. Because it was importing and using that reference host of, in our case, if we go back to the summary tab, it'll tell us what our reference host was. And so with that, it's already gathered some of the information from that reference host on how it's particularly configured. And we'll populate that information in. So now we can take the ESXi test profile that uh, we've created and we're going to attach that to a host. So there's a brand new host in my vCenter. It has not been configured. And so now that we've attached that guy, we'll run into here and we'll see he is not compliant. So it knows that this host is not compliant against this profile. And before we can actually apply the profile, we actually have to enter the host in the maintenance mode. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, if there were any configuration-specific items that needed to be addressed in here, such as uh, a different IP address, or um, if we were doing multiple uh, VM kernel mix for vMotion and fault tolerance and whatnot, then uh, those uh, IP addresses would need to be configured on uh, each basis. But because there isn't any of that, and it realizes what the actual IP address is of the uh, management network interface currently, um, we don't actually have to specify any of those values, and it's just going to go ahead and make all the settings change that we need to. So we'll click Finish, and that's now going to apply all those configuration settings to our host so that that host now resembles the target host that the profile was built off of, the ESXD. 
So we got an error there. Close on that. Let's see what, uh, let's do another scan of this. Okay, so it wasn't actually able to find the specific NFS data stores, and that's fine. That's I don't actually have that uh, virtual appliance with those NFS data stores up and ready, so that's just fine. So actually, that's a success, <laughs> even though it currently says non-compliant status.